Why did nobody come up to me after the incident? <laughs> That's where I'm at. Part of me feels like we failed Lenny. Because they were giving us results. Uh, Chief, how you feeling? Uh, I just woke up, so. Oh, no. I'm uh, feeling good about the Academy over the last few days. And uh, I'm excited to get those folk out there and get some more folk in around this time. So we don't have so many Debbie Downers just down in the dumps about every little possible thing. You're always going to get people that are not going to be happy with well, oh, without you know, what's going on. They're always going to be, yeah. they want more. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, obviously, it is up to the both of you. The reason about Bones is command. I just want to talk about what happened two nights ago. And just um, to be fully on the same page and understand what went wrong, the facts, and how do we as members of High Command and Command come together and not only heal from it, but also, um, you know, fix the problems? Oh, well, it's uh, pretty simple, in my opinion. You take their feedback and you apply it. And if they were wrong, you adjust accordingly. But that's what not been something we've really been doing. What is their gonna... feedback? Oh, um, people in positions of power, like seniors in command, not making calls necessary to protect officers or an officer's best interests out in the field. People not responding to backup requests. If I'm not mistaken, it's something along the lines of people being put or something like that. Something along those lines. So you I mean, understand I, that finger is being pointed at all of us right here then? Oh, without question. Yeah. And and do, I mean, do are we pointing the finger back? Uh, I mean, we can't just take feedback from someone that just shot the shit out of two officers and say, okay, now let's look at what they felt was valid. All right, so are you suggesting we just completely disregard whatever reason led them to this? N no, but, but I mean, this well, is... I mean, what led them to this point? What, what is your opinion, right? We know the how and the when, but what is the why? General PD incompetence, the best I can tell. That's pretty much what they would say. But how did we get to this point? This was before this this weekend. I mean, it was yeah. building and building. I, I mm -hmm. talked with Slacks like three days before how it just, it was, oh, I was it Every day after you end your shift or after I ended my shift was just a fucking headache. It was just, it was just like, holy you just went through like World War Three because you got to handhold everybody, right? You got to, I don't know if it's retraining or what it is, but uh, we f***ed up somewhere. Okay, so can I just clarify, when we're talking about they, are we talking about Lenny? Are we talking about Lenny and Declan? Or are we talking about Lenny, Declan and Bay? Yeah. So we're talking about the trio that isolated themselves up north to, ch to chase 37s, correct? Sorry, yeah. Is that what we're classifying them as? Oh, well, they're the ones with the most outspoken issues at this time. That but are we classifying them as the trio that went up north to chase 37s? Not always. I mean, they did respond when when needed, but that uh, that was a large majority of what they enjoyed doing. And, and they were good at it. The problem with Eclipse was the disconnect. They, they had a different way of operating as police officers that often or maybe sometimes led to microaggressions or aggressions from them to suspects. And we didn't agree with it because there's a time and place to shoot your gun and there's a time and place to not shoot your gun, de-escalate. And there was a disconnect as far as that. And that's what led to the resentment and calling a lot of officers peace. Yeah, I mean, a lot of things they did were very good. A lot of things they did, not so good. Oh, well, we will. But I really wish they would have taken all their knowledge and tried to push it on to their fellow officers and lift them up instead of breaking them down. No, I, I am fine with people having issues. And if they're more informative or, you know, better at their job, if they will, if they want to feel that way, that's one thing. But breaking down and belittling other people for not being up to the same standard and then not trying to assist them and bringing them up to the same standard. I have no interest in anything like that. No interest. <laughs> so how do we avoid having another issue with, you know, um, like what happened with Lenny? How do we avoid going down that path? How do we learn from this? If we backtrack... We, uh, as High Command and Command, I'll be honest, let a lot of things slip when it came to Lenny and to Declan. Uh, we let them, as PPOs, uh, ride together, to head up north together, to do a lot of stuff like that, because they were giving us results, and it was good. But where we failed is to see that by giving them those opportunities and not having them intermingle with other officers that they became a, a group to their own that felt that they were better than others and i think we failed um and there we have failed actually quite a few ppos as well probationaries because we were focused on other things and other changes were going on yeah i'm not afraid to to take some accountability uh, for this uh, but a lot of this started generating 
while we were in the middle of getting a chief and an assistant chief and change is happening. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's always going to adapt the same way. Some people will refuse to adapt and unfortunately that'll bring about a, in some cases, rather abrupt end, whether it's their employment or whatever it is that they do. We can't change them. They have to change themselves. We can do our best to nudge them in the right direction, but you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink the whole thing. Oh, gosh. How about if a sergeant's requesting a demotion? Then we'll evaluate. Because I'm not just saying demotion just on this one incident, just in general. I don't know about what the standards are in shift three or what goes on in shift three, but I see flop a lot in shift two and I, I just don't look at him as like the, the senior as I, I would see like other people. Mm -hmm. I think there are officers right now in shift two that could easily do better in, in a senior senior role than him. And if he's going to be making those those type of mistakes, like that's very, very, very basic. I don't know. That would be my request, but I'll talk to McNulty and see what he, he thinks as well. You said something. Yeah about him holding a gun as well what's what's that about i don't know something happened in the cells i'm not sure because of declan like floating around the lenny situation my understanding is flop at some point uh, i'm not sure as to the comments were made i don't exactly remember just like pull out his gun like this essentially uh, where in the cells with who sorry yeah, in the cell with, with lenny who? and declan present and himself uh, as a mistake or for protection my understanding is it was for potential protection <sighs> That's crazy. Is there a command report up about this? There's, Is it anything? I was just about to bring... Can we get a command report so we can do yeah, something I mean, about this? You know, McNulty spoke about it, but we're waiting to get like a full actual statement from Declan about it. And I'm not going to speak to it as I don't have, you know, the full detail. All right, I awesome. do think uh, going forward, though, these uh, we like can small keep groups this, uh... and stuff like that that isolate themselves, we can't allow it to happen. And we need to st stamp it out immediately as soon as we see it starting to form. This includes like... But how can you stop something like that? Because I feel like it's just part of human behavior. Right. People are always going to gravitate toward certain people they're like riding with or being in friends with. I'm but talking about be... when it starts like becoming the extent of, you know, they're like changing their call signs and dispatch. They're all like essentially like sporting the same thing. The elitism. Yeah. They all came to the Shift 2 meeting at the Crystal Casino with the same eye patch, with the same hair color, with the ha same hair thing. They started copying each other's 311s, sending out the same thing, repeating each other's messages. That to me is too far. The clear disrespect for other officers and the heightened aggression and escalation. I mean, those are much bigger problems than the silly stuff they do with the hair and the eye patch and like the clothing, right? Because mm -hmm. those hurt so much more and they have just a bigger, more impact out there on the field. Yeah, a lot of those decisions are boiling out of frustration. So how do we as high command command not allow this to happen again as far as that? Because I do feel like we are lacking when it comes to that. We're not doing our part like Ruby explained, where we're not being proactive in stopping these events from happening. Oh, I mean, it's not as simple as like you change an SOP. It's not as simple as a talk with these people because obviously that did not really work because this is something that they just it's how they are so we can't hire them then we gotta, we gotta fire them yeah i don't know but if uh if it comes to lenny's extent yeah obviously hopefully it never nothing like that ever happens again or anything of that realm but if uh this is the direction that we're moving and people do not want to adapt to that well people don't want to adapt sometimes people don't like change Ouch. we have to be the bad guys we, we have Without to come question. in there and say, hey, listen, you know, you got to change as far as, you know, this article clothing or whatever's going on, or if they're doing dumb mm -hmm. shit, hey, knock it off. One dap. It's only 15 days, right? I mean, it's not like it's going to be there for 60, right? People are not going to yeah. be scared to do their job because they'll be gone in two weeks. Right. That's where I'm at. Part of me feels like we failed Lenny because we could have done a better job. And I had Archer talk to him that night and I had, I was trying to contact Joanna to schedule like, a therapist ride along with him. The so let's after. identify then what we think we could have done better to prevent this. And what, and is, is there actually something? Or is this just like personal frustration and things being done differently? I think we already have, Chief. I mean, we've already said we all watched it happen. And unfortunately, none of us, I'm going to be honest, none of us knew how to deal with it. The fact that mm -hmm. they all showed up at the Shift 2 meeting and I'm the only one that walks up to them and says, cut it out. Because I, I was wasn't sick and apologize. No, that's fine. I, I was there either. sick and tired of them sending out a copy and pasted their they had their three one ones. And they all turned up with the same. And I just said, I said, this isn't funny. I, I was there to promote people to, you know, and they, they, their, their little, their group had to make it into something, you know, just about them. <laughs> 
We already have seen it. We are going to learn so much from this situation. The the mm -hmm. horrible gravity of this is that two of our officers were shot. That somehow that we didn't notice it and we got to step in quicker. We've got to step in sooner. We need to be more decisive. We can't leave a situation like Bones wrote a command report. And, and I'm just going to say it, guys. Here we go. Uh, Bones said, I recommend three DAT points, but we should talk to her. Slack said, I agree, but we should talk to her. The next day, McNulty, I agree, but we should talk to her and no one spoke to her as command we have to move more quickly especially if it's something like a three dap which is a pretty concerning situation if it's a one dap we should be able to deal with it immediately we should cut things off at the root as we see them and if people are not willing like we've said to go ahead and follow what the lspd is trying to achieve maybe they're not a right fit